Okay, holistic travel guy here out in the woods in Asheville, North Carolina, in my friend's backyard. There's the house up there. There's the vegetable garden, vegetable and herb garden over there. Um, there's some places for the kids to play. And over behind those bushes, there's an old chicken coop and a storage shed. So today's project uh, just tore apart an old tent platform that I um, that I used to sleep on 10, 12 years ago. There's some of the old tent platform boards that makeshift bridge over there in the creek is also some of the old platform boards. That's not going to last too long. As soon as we get heavy rains, it'll the creek will wash right out. And there's an old piece of plywood I used for the top of the board, the decking for the tent platforms and a bunch of rocks I used for the foundation. And uh, you might ask and wonder like, well, well, this is a travel channel. What is he doing talking about building a tent platform? Well, this particular travel channel that I started is about all things related to travel. And when I travel to Asheville, which is one of the my favorite cities and I'm gonna be traveling here a lot over the next few years, I'm gonna have a place to stay right here on this new tent platform. So this travel channel is about everything related to travel, including where you're gonna sleep at night. And that's why I do a lot of reviews of hotel rooms where I stay. So I actually lived in this old platform, tent platform for four summers um, here in Asheville. It was a wonderful experience. And while I was tearing apart the old platform over there in the bushes, I found an old tire iron that I had used to lift up the corner and prop rocks underneath. And there it is, still in good shape. I'm using it as a string line right now. All right, so I've got some of the new building materials over the creek already, some uh, cinder blocks I'm gonna use for a foundation. I'm gonna pour concrete in these holes. I've already got some holes dug. I got my tape measure drying out over here in the sun because I already dropped it in the creek this morning. So hopefully I can salvage that tape measure after it dries out and I'll spray some uh, uh, silicon in it. And now I'm gonna head up to the uh, van where I just got this morning's load of concrete, uh, cinder blocks, and two by twelves. I'm sorry, two by sixes. Two by six by twelve and two by six by eight. And we're gonna construct the frame of this new uh, tent platform today. It's gonna hold a pretty good sized tent. So we'll see you up there on the other side of the creek over this little old rickety bridge and we'll start loading up some building materials. See you up there. Okay, here we are up at the van. Already unloaded the uh, two by sixes off of the roof. Got nine two by six by eight foot and two two by six by 12 foot. And I got a whole van load of bags of concrete and concrete block that I've got to start unloading. So let's get to it. We're going to try and get them in this wheelbarrow and get them across the creek on that rickety old bridge. So that might actually be a fun video to um, tune into uh, after I finish these videos. We'll make a fun video crossing the creek on the bridge. These are 60 pound bags. I got them at Lowe's for about three and a quarter. Not a bad price. It's the cheapest, cheapest uh, bag of concrete they had. You'll see in a previous video this bed platform I made in my back of my van so I could sleep on it on the road with a nice foam mattress I got off of Amazon. I think one more block and that'll do it for this load. I don't want to overdo it on the bridge. So we got 120 pounds of concrete in the wheelbarrow and we got about uh, another 
20, 30 pounds of cinder block here as well. So I'm going to see if this is going to be uh, light enough to go. Oh, Jesus. All right. Got to take some block out of there. That's a little bit overloaded. So we're going to just take the concrete in the first load. And we'll see if this makes it across the bridge, and, you know, across the creek in a few minutes. Okay, got the old wheelbarrow loaded with two bags of 60 pound concrete on the other side of the creek. And hopefully we'll get across this without too many issues. Uh, we redid the bridge to make it a little more accessible. Slightly different angle on the bridge. So the key is keeping the wheel Keeping the wheel centered on the bridge, on the narrow bridge. Here we go. Alright, the wheel centered. Hopefully. It pushed. Oh, Jesus, almost. Almost. It pushed. Oh, Jesus. Oh. Okay. Made it with our first load of concrete over the bridge.